right, today is day 44. 44 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. I'll put the uh, camera on and we'll get going. Start the timer here, put in your guess, how long I'll go, how long it'll take, do at least uh, 1.15 miles today. It's a new video, new video every day. Today's day 44, walking in a part of the neighborhood I've never walked before, so. I don't think I've ever even driven on this street. We'll see what we see today. Always something interesting. Yesterday, I almost saw a car wreck. People were blowing their horns. A greenhouse. Blowing their horns at each other. A lot of horn blowers. There's always something I see. We'll see what we see today put the uh, over under of dogs we'll see at uh, say uh, I don't know three and a half never walked in this part of the neighborhood so not sure what I'll see a lot of people walk their dogs or not see what we see they Day before that, we helped find a lost dog, French Bulldog. He's running in the street with his leash on. Helped a lady find the owner. Took about 20 minutes, so I had to edit a lot of that out. But you still see the French Bulldog. I think the day before that, I saw a house with 18 windows. Always something. See what this is. A motorcycle. I don't know what brand it is. I don't see a lot of motorcycles every now and then. It's a, a boulevard S40. I never heard of a boulevard S40. Huh. I don't know what brand that is. That's the name of the company. Write down in the comments if you know. Never been on this street. It looks like somebody's driving around looking for something. They have a sign on their house that says Rose Cottage. Well, maybe their last name is Rose, like Pete Rose. Well, write down how many days in a row this is for you if you're playing along. If, and five days in a row, ten days in a row, twenty days in a row. I'm gonna try to do at least sixty. See how it goes after sixty days, but so far so good. Nice to get out every day. Some bright flowers blooming here. Look at that. Already the spring flowers are coming out. Had a lot of rain this year, so we should get some a lot of gorgeous flowers out this year. Got a little stained glass sailboat. Look at that. Oh, I guess it's not stained glass. It's something into their wind, into their building. Now that's stained glass there. Not sure what it is, just colors. A lemon tree and a kind of a burnt orange house there. 
this is like a golf cart or something here some fake grass look at this you got a golf cart or something they drive around In a golf cart, they don't have room for clubs. I guess they drive it around a neighborhood to go to the grocery or something. First one of those I've seen. Electric. Just make short little trips around a neighborhood you don't need a big car but you gotta make sure it's warm enough it doesn't have any doors here goes a walker some bright shoes oh, look at this house uh, is that apartments must be some kind of, I'm not really sure. It's got balconies and maybe it's apartments upstairs, downstairs. I don't know. Front unit. I guess there's a front and a back. Now look at that, a nice little porch up there, huh? Balcony. Bet they never sit out there though, just for looks. Still got a Valentine's Day flag out. A little late. They don't even have St. Patrick's Day or Easter. They're trying to play April Fool's joke or something. Here comes a couple little dogs. Hello. Can't really see them too well. Quiet, not a lot going on. See a few people out. Yeah. If you just started watching the channel, write down your goal if you want to play along, if you want to do a mile a day. Half a mile a day if you're just getting started, a mile every other day. Key thing is just to get out and do it every day. What is this? What kind of tree is this? What are those things? It's like a big melon. I don't know what kind of tree this is. I think that's orange. Grapefruit, maybe. A grapefruit tree? Look at the size of those things. Huge. I don't think that's grapefruit. I don't know what that is. No, let me know. Look at that. Heavy too. Wow. I don't know what that tree is. The first one of those I've seen. Let me know. Some of them are yellow, ready to be picked, I guess. I don't know what that tree is. Let me know. Huh. That's interesting. Always something on these walks. Something you've never seen before. We got a stop sign. It's kind of a what's this? A New England flavor to this house? Cape Codish, I guess? I don't know.
They say I don't think I've ever even driven on this street before. And what that tree was. It wasn't grapefruit. The grapefruit's round and smooth. That was kind of had texture to it. The melon did. I don't know what it was. Man, we got a whole bunch of, we got a bright blue door. A whole bunch of flowers and plants in their front yard. I always see a bright door now. Is there a bright blue or red or yellow, green? People love those bright, bright doors and bright cars. Haven't seen any uh, bright cars today. Yeah, half a mile. Get up the corner, turn around. Doesn't take long. Half mile out, half mile back. We do at least 1.15 today. Time goes, so you want to do it, a dollar to join in. Doesn't take much. Biggest part is just getting started and doing it every day. Seems to be 90% is just getting getting going. Once you're out, you enjoy it. Some kind of dog statue there. I look for it, I see a lot of these little these Ford Broncos. It's a Bronco Sport, it says. Seem to be really, really popular. I'm just have an eye out for them now. I see one almost every trip. That's a, another burnt orangey house. All right, I guess we'll make the turn here. Head up this way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go this way. See what we see down here. Nice bright blue sky today. Had a little bit of sprinkle yesterday, but nothing really that bad. But it was a uh, overcast. Nice and bright blue today. A few clouds. Said we might get some rain again. Later this week, somebody's flying a Canadian flag over there. From Canada, I assume. There's their American flag. They are in the United States. You know? All right. Let's make the turn. Walk up here, I think I see a old El Camino. I haven't seen a vintage car in a couple of days. I think that's what this is. Maybe from the 70s. Take a quick look and come back. Not gonna see the front, but you can see the back. Yeah, that looks like a that might be from the 60s. 68 El Camino if I had to make a guess 69 70 if I had to make a guess but I don't know all right back at it.
here and they're fenced down and putting up vinyl there. in the middle of the day I seem to see almost more workmen than I do people out and about somebody in their car I don't think they're sitting in their car I think they're just getting out though maybe not I don't know I always see somebody sitting in their car people really love to sit in their cars there's a yellow Jeep Cherokee Gotta be at least 20 years old, 25 years old. Like a log cabin -y feel, rustic. Yellow wheels. I might go down a new street for a mile. He's always somebody seems to have a some type of vintage car most of the time Camino, El Camino was probably from the 70s, early 70s I guess so the tail, the tail lights are smaller the older it is and sunny, a little breezy. Got shorts and a jacket today. There's a sky blue house for beach color. Nice. Some kind of swing in their yard. They have kids. We love our neighbors. Well, that's nice. Green door, look at that, pink. And let me know if you own a car that's 40, 30, 40 years old, what it is. See, quite a bit of them. A lot of, a lot of people love to collect the vintage cars. I think the oldest one we saw, we saw that 58. Lime green Lincoln Continental Mark IV. Found out what that was. I saw that, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks ago. Walked by it again the other day. The Lime Green 58 Lincoln Continental Mark IV. I have it parked in their driveway all the time. I saw one car looked like it was from the maybe the 30s but it was covered I could just see the wheels but it was tall and you could see the big big white walls it was probably from the 30s but I don't know what it was because they had it covered 
but that would have probably been the oldest. You can't see anything from the 40s, 50s, 60s, not from the 50s and 60s. All right, almost at a mile. Another bright blue house, a popular color. Got a railroad. Walk by that over there. There's cars coming all over the place. They got a Santa Christmas train railroad crossing. Their front door. I wonder what that's about. It's not plugged in. It's obviously for Christmas. I don't know why they have it at their front door. A few months late. Never know what you're gonna see on these trips. Yeah, they say doctors say you can just get out and walk a mile or so every every day. It's really good for you, good for your heart and your mind. It's just good health. The St. Patrick's Day flag out. So if you can just get started, say if you can just do it for every day, for 14 days in a row, it becomes a habit. And then you keep doing it. So I'm at day 44. So if you haven't started yet, you can make today, tomorrow, day one, and then write down your progress in the comments section, you know, how many days it is in a row for you, or, how many miles you walked. I am uploading a new video every day. So check back. You can watch some of the other ones. Or if you don't want to get out, it's too cold, or prefer to walk inside, you have a treadmill. You can watch these videos on your treadmill. It feels like you're walking outside and see something different every day. Always something interesting. Yesterday, like I said, I almost saw that car wreck. And people were blowing their horns and horn blowers. Another one, I walked another couple blocks, somebody else was blowing their horn. And people like to blow their horn. I haven't seen any today though. Seen any horn blowers. There's the first Amazon truck. I haven't seen many of those. In this neighborhood, you see, walk close to my house, I see three, two, three, four. Have I seen two dogs today? Not many dogs either. Probably if I walked later in the day. We got a 49ers flag out. They lost in the Super Bowl. 49ers lost. I think they probably should take it down. The Super Bowl was a while ago now. There's another blue house. This one's kind of a darker blue. A lot of windows there too, that's nice. Uh oh, I gotta get out of the street. Get run over. Wow, look at that nice little yard. Got a little fake fire hydrant with a dog probably. I like that fake grass. Never have to mow it and it always looks good. A lot of people have that. That one neighborhood. It's like I saw like 10, 12, 14 yards with the fake grass. Must have caught on. One neighbor got it. And the other neighbors liked it and bought it too. Usually on a walk maybe see a house or two with it. Don't have to 
have to water it, don't have to mow it. Big all-terrain vehicle. I don't know what it is. Got a lot of floodlights on the top. The Ford is customized. Like a Ford insignia in the front, but it's just black. And I don't know what they've customized this car truck. I don't know what it is. Let's see if it says on the back. Nope. I don't know much about trucks, but I'm guessing it's a Ford. I don't know. All right, almost at the corner, make the turn back. St. Patrick's Day flag out. When I post these, St. Patrick's Day will be over. But it's not St. Patrick's Day yet. Another two or three weeks. Kind of noisy on this street. Seven minutes and 31 seconds you are the winner that's it for today so if you like the channel subscribe tell your friends check out some of the other videos went down to the beach that one day I need to go back down there again I go to Manhattan soon you want to see the exotic cars been to that garage a couple times you want to see me almost get run over by a car? That was about three weeks ago. But they'll recommend a video for you. All right, that's it. See you tomorrow.